everyone, welcome back to 91.5 Radio FM, and today we will be talking about the Pearl Harbor bombing that just happened around a month ago, with Lanika and Sophie reporting live from Honolulu, Hawaii, and it is time to update you guys. Hey everyone! So, let's talk about the Pearl Harbor. The Pearl Harbor attack was a surprise military attack done by the Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service. The attack started on December 7, 1941 bombing over 2,403 people and killed them. 1,000 people were wounded. Such a sad cause. It sure is. Many lives might be lost, but they are certainly not forgotten. <clears throat> My brother was in Navy and thankfully he survived, but he is severely wounded and still suffers trauma. 218 soldiers and airmen <clears throat> sadly passed, may they rest in peace, and 364 wounded. Not only does this hurt the soldiers physically, but also mentally. The Pearl Harbor is currently absolutely destroyed and right now we are standing in a pile of broken buildings and we must be very careful. And make use of the supplies we brought here as all the supplies were damaged. Yes indeed, Vivek. Many supplies were damaged, including destroying nearly 20 American ships and more than 300 airplanes. Now, I know you're all probably wondering why the Imperial Japanese attacked the harbor and why in Hawaii. Well, let's pass it on <clears throat> to Lenika. Thank you, Vivek. The Japanese attack had many accomplishments in mind when attacking the Pearl Harbor. First, they intended to destroy important American fleet units. Japan's only chance was to try and destroy America's Navy as quickly as possible. Japan wanted to move into the Dutch East Indies and Malaya to conquer territory so they can get more important resources, such as oil and rubber. Yes, Lenico. The U.S. had no thought of even the Japanese even coming near to fight them, as they thought of the Japanese as a lower-class army than the U.S. The Japanese came out of nowhere and also did this attack to expand their territory in the Pacific. Now, you must know that this was not a midday bombing where soldiers were training in the day. This was early in the morning. The first Japanese dive bomber appeared over Pearl Harbor at 7.55 a.m. Over the next half hour after Pearl Harbor's airfield and docked ships were subjected to a merciless assault with bombs, guns, and torpedoes. A second wave struck at 8.50 a.m. and the Japanese withdrew shortly after 9 a.m. About 83 of the planes were not able to be used anymore, and only 43 were actually able to still work and be used. Six planes that came from the U.S. were sent into the air to help fight back the attackers and defend themselves. There were 353 aircraft sent by the Japanese, and the Japanese destroyed all of the U.S. Navy ships and sank four of them. Yes, Sophie. The outcome of this attack practically pushed the U.S. into war, which was that we were trying to avoid for so long. Japan thought if the U.S. happened to join the war, they would have a damaged and broken navy. Japan's conclusion about the U.S. turned out to be completely wrong, and the U.S. is now practically leading the war. That is true, Lanika. Perhaps trying to make sure the U.S. doesn't even come close to the war, they practically brought them right in. They were fearful of the U.S. having better military protection. Yes. Overall, the Pearl Harbor attack was not expected by the U.S. at all and gave the Japanese at the time ultimately more power due to them bombing the naval base and killing their most powerful ships and soldiers. Well, alright. Thank you for listening to 91.5 FM. See you guys next time. And make sure you tune in for our weekly updates.